what's going on today? Well, we're just having a little fun here with some vintage uh, fuzz. This is a uh, K fuzz tone. Uh, really hard to find nowadays, and they're not really cheap either when you do find them, but uh, really cool. If you guys recognize the uh, riff I was playing, that pedal was actually used on the U2 song called Elevation. That's the intro, you know. Listen to it. You, it's a dead ringer once you hear it. You know, if you play through one, it's like, whoa. What a kind of a cheesy effect it is, honestly. But, God, I'd love to have just even half the money they made on that tune. Anyway, it's, it's not always about the high quality of the pedal. It's whatever stimulates you to uh, come up with something cool. So I think that that was the case with him. So basically, I think this is pretty much like a, uh, you know, like a fuzz pedal, but, or fuzz face circuit. I gotta check it out. The circuit is actually in the pedal. They printed it and stuck it in there. Like, don't rip us off, but they probably ripped someone else off. Anyway, so it's, it's a fuzz circuit, all right? When the pedal's rocked all the way back, it has like a tone cap. So when you rock it forward like a crybaby, and you can get kind of like the Tycho Bray thing going too, you know. on that, you know, Octavia, you know, maybe kick on some reverb and a delay, and there you go, uh, anyway, it's kind of funky and fun to mess around with, I, I kind of get it, now, when I first plugged in, I was like, wow, this thing's really cheesy, it's thin, can sweep it, you know, with your pedal, find it way, way you like it and just leave it, you know. It's really cool. Uh, it's different, you know, than anything I own. So I believe, uh, I believe I watched a video on YouTube maybe. I think JHS uh, Pedals recreated this pedal, actually. Uh, I love his channel, Josh Scott, great, great info. I mean, he has the biggest pedal collection on planet Earth, too, so. But he knows what he's talking about, and he's, it's really informational, but I, I think I remember uh, them recreating this, so you can still get a newer version, as far as I know. Would you use it all night? I doubt it, but... Again, you can find that, you know, especially if you put like a humbucker in front of it or a neck pickup that's fat, you know, uh, if you want to do the, uh, you can hear two notes here. It's really cool. Uh, I might dig this out and just mess around with it. Uh, we're going to take a look at the inside in a second, and I'm going to show you the whole, the whole thing. It's really cool how they... It's plastic, there's no switch. You have to physically turn the, the pedal on with a slider switch and shut it off the same way. Um, I don't know, it almost looks like they, it looks like a toy, honestly. It's just plastic, it's got a rubber uh, kind of boot on the bottom that kind of just hooks onto the outer edge of the plastic and that's it. You pull the boot off, change your battery, put her back on, you're ready to go. Really simple, really cool design, honestly. And this one's in really, really good shape. I mean, I believe these were made around, uh, I think it was around 67, maybe, 68, uh, if I remember right. And, uh, you know, it wasn't like an instant thing, but... 
they're out there. And they made another one too. Uh, maybe you guys can will know this. I saw another one of these. It was blue in color. And I'm not sure what it was. Maybe a phaser or something? I gotta research that, I guess. See, that's what it is. When you dig your old stuff out, most of the time you forgot what it was, so it's good. It's like Christmas morning all over again. Or Groundhog Day or something. Anyway, uh, really cool and a lot of fun, like I said. Not something you're going to bump into just anywhere, but uh, this one was an exceptional find, and uh, it was given to me, so I can't complain about the price. And the guy that bought it, bought it at a lawn sale for a dollar. No kidding. So anyway, uh, they are out there. People look at those like they probably thought it was a toy, you know. Uh, I actually had a friend uh, that uh, watches this channel and stuff. He bought a uh, nice crybaby pedal that was uh, at some sort of flea market church sale. And they had a bunch of sewing machines there that people donated, and they had a table full of sewing machine pedals. And that crybaby was sitting in there with it. I think that was a dollar or two dollars, too. So they're out there. It's so thin when you kick that pedal down. It's really nasty and gnarly. Like I said, it's something you definitely want to experiment with and uh few effects in behind it which those guys didn't have when this come out you know the nice delay and reverb we just heard with it so there's new sounds that can be made from these old pedals you know by combining it with some of the new stuff we have at least that's my opinion I, it's the first thing I do I try it on its own and then start you know putting stuff with it put stuff in front of it you know put a boost in front of it and like give it a little nudge there's all kinds of cool things you can do with it, so uh, let's take a close look at it and uh, let you guys check it out, and uh, at least you'll know what you're looking at, and if you happen to see one, you know, in a toy bin at a flea market, you know what you got. Okay, let's check her out, guys. Okay, so I'm going to unplug it here, and we're going to really take a good look at it here so you can see it's in pretty clean shape um, let me put my pick down here okay. uh, this is one I made out of a record player that's a, that's a fuzz too uh, I like mine tonally better than this but this is a cool little thing so here you go um, I'm gonna turn it off because uh, I'm about to stick my hand in there so there you go, instrument amplifier, and that's your switch right there in the middle that has to be run manually. Now, if you see, this has a little bit of silver paint on the uh, tread here, right? There's a little of it missing, but that's probably from me playing it, honestly. I should play this with, like, you know, not wearing shoes, maybe just stockings just to keep it nice. So here you go. It's basically like a crybaby, like I said. And the treadle just runs a pot inside. So here's the uh, the rubber boot. We'll take that guy right off. And here we go. Here's the gut shot. Look, there's the schematic. Which I can actually... I can build this myself. Uh... Not a not a tough schematic there by any means. So here's the uh, the uh, pot that it's you know actuating when you move the treadle, similar to a crybaby. Uh, you know, 
the mechanism I should say it's a little bit different but pretty much the same thing you got a toothed uh, thing here that just rides on the uh, pot shaft and there you go uh, actually it's not a tooth thing it is actually a link is linkage it's tough to see it but I can see a screw right there all right I got it still just hooked to the uh, pot shaft there. Kind of kind of neat how they did it. Uh, there's a little circuit board here. And there's a place to put your battery back here. And that's pretty much it. Uh, not a lot of components to this pedal. Uh, you know, there's some electrolytic caps there. A bunch of resistors. And there's transistors in there, there's no doubt. I just can't really see them right now. I don't know if I can... I think you can slide the circuit board right up out of there and, and look at the whole thing. I'm guessing these are probably germanium transistors, but I can't really see down in there. Anyway, I'll... uh. I'm not going to pull the circuit board out here with one hand on camera, so uh, I'll check it out and leave it in the comments what it is, and at least you guys will know. But that's what you're looking for if you see one of those. All plastic, and there's the K symbol right in the middle. Really funky and really uh, really unique, you know. That's, that's an early uh, pedal, really, if you think about it. 67, 68, there wasn't a ton of pedals out. It was just starting to really take off, right? Uh, so anyway, there you have it, folks. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that video. I did. It was actually fun to dig this back out and uh, play around with it. Maybe I'll get my other fuzz pedal out that I built from the record player. We'll do a shootout. Just see what how close the tone is. How much uh, fizz and fuzz is on each one. I think that would be kind of cool. I'll probably at least do it for my own enjoyment. And uh, I'll set the camera up and let you guys check it out too. Alright folks. Well, i got to get back to it. i got to clean this place up a little bit. It's not too bad today. Uh, the side I'm sitting on here is a little more cluttered. But I've been getting there cleaning and just trying to straighten things up so I can... Just walk in and lay hands on stuff. I did empty out my little uh, sound room, uh, ISO room in there. And put the rest of the uh, guitars out here. It's really not ideal. They just take up a lot of space is all. But I can deal with it, you know. As long as i got a place to sit down and plug in, I'm good. Alright guys, we'll see you guys real soon. Thanks again for checking this out. And I uh, hope you have a wonderful day. Okie doke.